Well, hello there. Today is lesson seven and ten hundredths, solving multi-step fraction number stories. And there's a little cartoon number story if you want to sit and figure that out. So our why today is we need to be able to create mathematical representations and models to solve problems and answer questions. That's one of our goals as math students. So that's what your goal is today. That's why we're doing this. And how are we going to do it? Well, we're going to take a look at some activities where we burn a certain number of calories. So first of all, I'm going to give you a sample table and you'll be doing some more of these in class. But what I have here on the left is I have an activity column and I've got bowling and I've got singing in that column. And then on the right we have time and hours to burn 100 calories. So you can see bowling is going to be one half hour and singing is going to be five sixths of an hour. So you'll have a table with some information in it and then you're going to have some questions that you're going to have to figure out the answers to. So let's take a look at the first one. If I burned 300 calories bowling, how many hours or what fraction did I bowl? So if you'd like, pause your video at this time and see if you can figure out how to do this. What I would do is I would take 3 times 1 half, which is going to give me 3 halves, which is also equal to 1 and 1 half hours. That was pretty simple, right? Okay, let's take a look at another one. If I sang and burned 300 calories, how many hours or what fraction did I sing? Can you figure this one out? I would take 3 times 5 6, which is equal to 15 6, or I'm going to convert that to a mixed number, 2 and 3 6, which is also equal to 2 and 1 half hours. So we basically took the fraction times 3. Does anyone know why we multiplied times 3? Think about that. Because it's 300 calories, so we'd used the 3 because we're, we're uh, burning 100 calories in 5 6 of an hour. So if we burned 300 calories, that's three one hundreds, right? That's where I got that three. Alrighty, so there's an introduction to what we'll be doing. So in class, what are we gonna do? Well, we will work with partners and use what we know about fraction comparisons, fraction operations, and equivalent intervals of time to solve multi-step number stories. You've got this. No worries. See you then.